Okay, honey, I'm going live. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Hi, everybody. This is Ken Whiteley. I'm just putting my phone on airplane mode. And uh, don't you love technology? Oy. Uh, I don't know what. Anyway, um, yeah. Ken Whiteley here at Folk Alliance. And a couple of minutes late. I think I kind of want to just sort of lay my burdens down, you know? You ever feel like that? Sometimes all this stuff is just kind of fills you with trepidation, so. So this is a song I wrote a few years ago. I had the It leads off my um, my new album called Calm in the Eye of the Storm. But I think for all of us, you know, coping with so many things right now, we all can feel a little burdened sometimes. And I know that all the losses people have experienced and everything like that, so.
wrote that song thinking about uh, my experience about 20 years ago being in the, in the Himalayas and going to the source of the Ganga River. And you, you, you've got to walk up. You, you climb about another kilometer up and about 22 kilometers in from the town of Gomuk, which is where the road ends. And, uh, and the air, of course, very, you know, clear because you're up, you know, 16,000 feet and, and you, you get, you finally get to the source, the, the, you know, so the next day, get to the source, uh, at waking up at 4.30 in the morning and get there at dawn and, and the, the Ganga River is just flowing out of the mouth of this glacier. And uh, so... Burdens. So this is this is I'm going to do another one that uh, this is one that I, I I did quite a few years ago and had the privilege of uh, getting my friends Kathy Fink and Marcy Marks here to help help sing the harmonies and Jerry Douglas got to play some dobro on this one so that was pretty nice and it's called Let Me Fly. Let me fly, let my spirit soar Let me fly, I can't ask for more I've been hearing the trees as they whisper to me How the breezes caress them and stir their leaves Now that wind started blowing right through me So let me fly, let me fly let me fly, let my spirit soar Let me fly, I can't ask for more Like a small trickling stream That keeps flowing down As it joins other water The sound resounds Now I'm flowing up But I can't stop now So let me fly, let me fly Let me fly, I can't ask for more As if from a dream I've begun to wake Feel something moving, make no mistake I've started rumbling like my own earthquake So let me fly, let me fly Let me fly, let me fly I, as well as performing, uh, I, I also produce records. And I, I, when the pandemic started, I actually had a couple of records in the can. The, the, all, it, all the tracking had been done. Everything was recorded. And it just needed to be mixed. So it was actually kind of great to have projects to, to work on that were all ready to go. And, but uh, anyway, and I kind of stretched that process out. And I've taken, taken advantage of the fact that, you know, I don't have to stay down in the studio all day working on a thing. Art, the artist isn't here. I'm just working by myself. And so if I want to take a walk with my wife at 1.30 in the afternoon, I'll, I'll take advantage of that. But anyway, eventually I did finish both those projects. And, and, um, 
And so, okay, okay what do I do now? So a friend had actually asked me um, to help him out. He was doing the sound for an art installation. And he said, I, I need something that sort of sounds almost like field recordings of some of these old folk songs. So I made him a few field recordings of myself playing some old folk songs. I used the fretless banjo back there. And anyway, that kind of got me thinking about uh, what I could do. And I, I, um, so I began thinking about recording some more folk songs. And, and then in the, in the folk tradition, I just using, you know, those as kind of exploring where I would take that story. You know, it was great to see Margaret Atwood today talking about the stories we tell and how important those are. So, so Shannon Doyle, apparently, as I looked into this, this one, this uh, great song, um, you know, Shannon Doyle was originally a Haudenosaunee uh, chief, sometimes called the Iroquois. Uh, and, the, and the song apparently is originally of uh, sort of French-Canadian origin. But it tra it's traveled all over the world now, and so it's so I figured it was fair game to, to take it wherever I wanted. So Shenandoah and the Mandicello. Oh Shenandoah, I long to hear. Away, you rolling river, oh Shenandoah, I long to hear you. Away, I'm bound away, cross the wide Missouri. Here you call it away, you rolling river, a voice that calls me onward, look away. string guitar now lighten things up a little bit uh, play a little blues for you uh, I, I, I feel really lucky in my life uh, so many of the people that I've, I've got to meet and, and I for a long time I in the 1970s I, I was able to play guitar with a great Chicago blues piano player blind John Davis so uh, 12 string is as close as I'm gonna get 
this right now on this little showcase, but but uh, you, you can imagine the tinkling ivories behind me here when I play this song that says, sooner or later, everybody has the blues. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. It'll always turn around. Sooner or later, yes, everybody has the blues. You know the rich man's got them. And the poor one too Male and female Me and you Sooner or later Yes, everybody has the blues You know, even the Buddha Beneath his tree Said life is suffering, don't you see? Sooner or later, yes, everybody has the Just a part of life, I guess. Living with the joy and dealing with the mess. Yes, yes. Sooner or later, oh, everybody has a blue. Yeah, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Turn around Sooner or later Yes, everybody Has a blue Of course, we write songs like that to make us feel better when we do have the blues. And so that's kind of, you know, there's a whole... You know, people think of the blues maybe as a little one-dimensional, but there's so many different uh, kinds of blues-ish things and the emotions that are expressed. And, 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 and uh, that's certainly what drew me as a young adolescent to the blues was just that range of emotions that are expressed. And this song, I don't know if you'd call this one a blues or not, but it certainly is coming from that sense of... Um, Well, when we open our hearts to what's going on in this world, that there's a lot that can, uh, you can feel overwhelmed. And I think we all feel overwhelmed sometimes if you're paying attention. And, um, and so I guess telling these stories, if I drew something out of the, you know, all the great workshops and the, you know, Margaret Atwood today and everything, if I drew something out of it, one of the things is how important it is to be telling these stories. And, and and even if the story itself doesn't it's not like we immediately see a change from it but but the act of telling it moves the whole thing forward and and uh th i wrote this so i wrote this song thinking about the all the refugees and you know reading uh, you know i don't need to tell you about all the ref refugees that are 
reading about more people today uh, escaping from Ethiopia into Sudan and all the troubled places. But they say that if, uh, if we don't address the, the climate emergency, this, the number of, you know, over 25 million displaced people right now on the planet, and, and that number could uh, reach 500 million if, you know, sea level rise and uh, everything like that. But it doesn't have to be that way. And so that's, I guess, why we write songs like this. So it says, this says, I hear the wind. I hear the wind, 
Yeah, we can all hear those winds out there. Well, that uh, that song is is um, one of the songs on a new album that came out the the week before the pandemic lockdown started. And the, the album is called Calm in the Eye of the Storm. So, th so that song, obviously, that I just did represents kind of the, the storm part of the equation. And, uh, you know, they were talking in the producer's panel. What do you do uh, to, you know, to, to, to find calm in the storm of making records with, with temperamental artists and so on? One of the producers says, "I just try not to ever work with anybody. I don't. Uh, I don't try and deal with their problems." But uh, another, I've related to one of the other people. One of the other w women on the panel said, "Well, every morning I do my meditation and yoga." And I, yes, I can. I can relate to this. And, and I think our relationships are are critical. And uh, so, so I, I'm going to send this one. Out to my honey who's sitting right over there, just off screen, just so I'm not totally alone in this, with just me in this little light of my little webcam here. This is called Calm in the Eye of the Storm. Be my calm in the eye of the storm. Be my place where I'm safe from all harm. That we can't stop the wind and the rain So be my calm in the eye of the storm Swirling thoughts unfurling Like an unbound the breeze slowly gather pages and decide what we need from all these be my calm in the eye of the storm be my place where I'm safe from all harm I know that we can't stop the wind and the rain so be my calm in the eye of the storm for
just right for you and me. Be my calm in the eye of the storm. Be my place where I'm safe from all harm. Know that we can stop the wind and the rain. So be my calm in the eye of the storm. You know that we can't stop the wind and the rain. So be my calm in the eye of the storm. So, this next song would normally be a sing-along, so I'm going to invite uh, whoever may be watching from the privacy of their own home, their own bubble, wherever they may happen to be, uh, feel free to sing along on it, uh, with this. It's, I wrote this... Um, after attending a Green New Deal event at a big space in Toronto, like 500 people packed into this room, and talking about um, you know all the different challenges we face and how we have to you know all the opportunities, I guess, in a way that are presented by by trying to make this dramatic uh, change and. But but some of the some of the speakers were so angry, and I and I totally get why a person can feel so angry about so much that's going on, and I you know and it's that's certainly a valid emotion to have. But at the same time, I was thinking, you know, how do we actually communicate to those people who are not on the same page? How, how you know? And so, not that I think this song is necessarily a panacea or even would be particularly well received, but I, it just kind of occurred to me, you know, like, and I actually wrote this uh, for the ukulele, but I, I'm not, I, tuning on ukuleles, uh, anyway, whatever. I'll leave, there's lots of ukulele players out there. I'm just gonna cape away up. And the song's called Greed is a Flawed Organizing Principle. It goes like this. Greed is a flawed organizing principle again greed is a flawed organizing principle for you and me for society when profit motive is sacrosanct see the power of business the power of banks how can well-being take second place what about the future we all face greed is a flawed organizing principle Greed is a flawed organizing principle for you and me, for society. Let's consider our options here. What about life do we really hold dear? We have to choose between the planet and plastic. Might be time to do something drastic. Greed is a flawed organizing principle. Greed is a flawed organizing principle. For you and me, 
for society Shouldn't have to tell you about the rising seas Species extinction, importance of the bees We've changed this planet in so many ways If we don't change ourselves, you can number our days Everybody, green is a flawed organizing principle. Oh, green is a flawed organizing principle for you and me, for you and me, for society, for society. is a flawed organizing principle. All right. Okay. So, not to say that there isn't a place in our relationships and our interaction for expressing our own needs and self-interest. And so I think you might see on your screen uh, kenwhiteley.com and that's uh, how you can reach me, get in touch with me. Um, I'm uh, a dual citizen. I'm happy to uh, travel when appropriate. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do one more song, I think, before I get out the national. I, 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 I'd like to do, um, I'd like to sing a song for a good friend of mine. Uh, you know, we've all lost uh, friends, and, uh, you know, I think of Ann Feeney, uh, who I knew as much as anywhere from Folk Alliance conferences, who succumbed to COVID. And, but a good friend of mine had been battling other issues, she passed away at the age of 50, a woman named Amoy Levy, who uh, she and her sister Cecile sang with me at um, when the Folk Alliance was in Toronto, and she'd been recording, and we'd been singing together for 25 years, and incredible African-Canadian singer. And uh, so I, I'm going to send this one out in, in, in her memory, and, and it's one that um, it's actually a, a little YouTube clip uh, of of me from a, a me with a moy and Cecile from 2011, right after I got out of the hospital. I I was in uh, hospital for I had a torn mitral valve, and unfortunately it wasn't diagnosed, so my condition became a lot more consequential, and I was there for about 40 days. But so I when I was re recovering at home, and I finally got back home. Um, Moyne Cecile came down, and, and uh, my son Ben captured this uh, on his phone and we put it up on YouTube somewhere in the great ether out there. It's a song called Golden. This morning. 
But before you start to fight Just stop Feel the light This moment Right here, right now That we're in Let's go This moment that we in. As I said, that's uh, that was for my friend Amoy and. Uh, I sang many songs together. <laughs> Including this one that I wrote with uh, my good friend uh, Eve Goldberg. Some of you may know Eve from Local 1000, a uh, fine singer. She's in a group now called Gathering Sparks. And this was before all that. She and I wrote these words together. Uh, Collaborated on that, and then I put the tune to it, and I thought a good, good shuffle would be in order. And I'm sure you can relate to this. Uh, people going to this Folk Alliance conference all know the importance of this music, and so it's important that we remind each other of that from time to time, as, as well as spreading that word to the general public. Well, when my way gets cloudy and my feet are tired and I've given up hope or just feeling uninspired, then at the time when the spirit is strong. Words and tunes to touch my soul and help me carry on. Then I know that I'm where I belong. I belong. Oh, that's when I need a song. When the springtime blossoms And the birds begin to sing 
Uh, you know, this, uh, we're, uh, you know, we could all talk about the disappointing things that didn't happen. You know, the tours and on and on, festivals, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, venues. But um, at, that song was going to be done. There's a woman, a uh, wonderful singer, of Kingston area, Georgette Fry, who uh, Kingston, Ontario, who uh, has started a whole bunch of these women singing ensembles, just like, you know, people who want to always wish they could sing, as it's called Shout, Sister Shout, and she's got, it sort of franchised it, you know, and, and she picks the tunes and kind of arranges them for all the different choirs all over the place, you know, and uh, so she was going to, that was going to be one of the songs they were going to sing, uh, you know, this past year, but she sent me a, a video, someone took it a phone, they got together, 
in a great big parking lot. So everybody was like six feet apart, but they actually could all sing together and they could kind of, because of the, you know, the low ceiling of the, you know, the parking lot, there was like no cars parked on the whatever floor it was, looked like the third or fourth floor high, you know, and, uh, and so there's all these women, you know, grooving out to, uh, to that song. And, and uh, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it's pretty special to, to, to get to do what we do. And we can't all, I'm sure we all can't wait to have a chance to do it again. And, you know, missing all of the chances to see people. You know what, I, I, I really enjoyed the programming. And a big thanks, of course, to everybody at Folk Alliance. <laughs> incredible work they've done to kind of make this happen the way it is and you know so many great things but what what it, it it doesn't allow for the same level of spontaneity you know where where you know and that was always one of the and we look forward to having that chance again when we you know it's not just the you know oh i want to see that and i oh this is a really interesting workshop but it's like Wow, I saw this. I never had no idea. I just wandered in down the hall, and there was this guy playing, or you know, or or I met this person. I hadn't seen them in 15 years, and there we were, you know. Or I just we just met, and now I'm playing at their showcase, you know, like all that kind of spontaneous stuff, you know. Last year in New Orleans, my wife and I are having dinner in the hotel, and David Amram is kind of looking around, you know, where. And I've known Dave, I've known David for many many years, and said, David, you know, sit, you have a seat, and if your friend shows up, you know, you could go join them. And they, or the friends never showed up, so we had dinner with David Amram, and and I said, uh, David, come and sing with me, and uh, play with me in my showcase. So, so that song that I did earlier, I hear the wind. He play, he was playing like a whistle on it and stuff like that. Anyway. One of the great, uh, so many great experiences I've had at, at different times at festivals and showcases and things like that. And one of the things that I always remember so much is was getting to sing with a woman by the name of Bessie Jones from the Georgia Sea Islands. And um, when I was 28 years old and she was 89, we sang for two hours together at the Mariposa Folk Festival. And so I was so happy uh, a few years ago in Kansas at, Angus asked me to um, to help present the uh, the award, to, the Lifetime Achievement Award for Bessie Jones, and the, that music from the Gullah tradition, the coastal region of South Carolina and Georgia, an incredible culture, and we're just uh, it's been through that incredible adversity of the experience of those people, the culture is of course what helped them survive, and and. Um, I, I got to go to Sapelo Island. They have a festival there, and that was that was fun. Where you know it's like. Anyway, this song is is one I learned from Bessie Jones, and it's called Beulah Land, and it's about returning to our true home. And uh, I usually sing this with my friends Rosalind Dennett and Rob McLaren and the Beulah Band. Uh, so you'll just have to fill in for them wherever you are. And, Rob Ross, if you ever see this, uh, you can sing from wherever you are. So it goes like this. Beulah land, Beulah land, I got a home over in Beulah land. Beulah land, Beulah land, I got a home over in Beulah land. I got a home over in Landlord, not gonna stop till I reach that land. Not so particular about reaching that landlord, but I'll meet my mother in Beulah Land. Beulah Land, Beulah Land. I got a home over in Beulah Land. about that wheel in a wheel Lord. just want to know how that chariot feels the land you love land I got a home over in you the land the land you the land I got a
much, Ken Whiteley. Look forward to seeing you in person. Thank you. I shall stop the stream, but the river keeps flowing. <laughs>